Hey Taurus, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and I'm just going to do a little something something um, for you. Just a little bonus, just a little bonus. I don't know what these are, honestly, if this is what you can expect coming down the road, if this is something that's going on right now. Um, you may not even see yourself in these cards at all, right? But what we're going to do is I'm going to shuffle these cards and we are going to use every card in the deck, one right after another, to tell a story about what is going on in your life right now. Like I said, I think I said it, it might not resonate. And it might. We'll see. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. I'm just not, uh, I'm just not thinking about you right now. Okay? So if it resonates for you, that means that um, we are... We are vibing together. All right, Taurus. Let's let's do this. Let's do this, Taurus. So, obviously, if you want a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Link in the box below. So, let's see. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Taurus on my mind. What is going on with the Collective of Taurus? What's happening? What's going on? What's coming down the road? What messages do we need to know? Tell us a story about what's going on in Taurus's life right now, Spirit. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to Taurus in a way that Taurus can apply to their life. Spirit. <laughs> Nine of Swords, Taurus. You and the Nine of Swords. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle three more times. I'm going to cut three times. And I'm going to pull fifth. No, I'm not going to pull 15 cards, Spirit. I want you to arrange yourself in this deck the way that you need to be seen to tell a story to Taurus about what's going on in their life. need to have some kind of balance, some kind of balance, some kind of prioritization because there's some kind of insecurity happening right here, Taurus, some kind of insecurity to the Princess of Wands, discovery, knowledge. There's been some, some information of some sort that comes, that, that you have discovered, right? Something has come to you that is requiring you to seek balance and prioritization, adaptability, maybe adaptability. Five of Pentacles says that this causes feelings of insecurity and worry for you. Princess of Wands tells us that um, this is a card about enthusiasm, exploration, right? So whatever came into you that is causing you worry is also causing you a sense of excitement to the wheel. This, whatever's coming into you, is a turning point, a turning point in your destiny. To the Nine of Cups, it's bringing wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. The Queen of Swords says that you have some kind of a quite, quite a large decision to make, or some truth has been spoken. Four of Swords says you are contemplating this. What are you contemplating? The regretful but necessary transition of the past. Ace of Swords says now you have some mental clarity because you've spent a lot of time in the Eight of Swords, right? The Eight of Swords is the energy of, um, it's the energy of what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Because she's tied up, right? And, and caged up by these swords. The energy of this card, because eights are about movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, and success, right? And there's, it's not a coincidence that this Eight of Swords is an Eight. So what she's doing in that Eight of Swords energy is contemplating the action that she's going to take, right? So she's so surprised to find herself in this situation that she can't think quite fast enough to get herself out of it. So this is the process of, of formulating movement of formulating the action that you're going to take to accomplish what you need to accomplish. With the first initial reaction of the Eight of Swords energy is, what the fuck? To the Nine of Pentacles. 
This is about bringing a culmination to the situation. So in the Eight of Swords, you are making energetic mental movement towards bringing your situation to a culmination. Three of Wands comes in and says that um, you're gaining some foresight. Ten of Pentacles talks about gaining some foresight about... Uh, well, there you go, to the Princess of Cups. Gaining some foresight about a message that came in about creating the Ten of Pentacles. Ah, in a love relationship with the Lover's card. Big decision needs to be made. Very, very, very big decision. This message of creation that came in from this Princess of Cups right here, um, the message of creation to create a love relationship right? That's the decision that you're stuck in the eight of, eight of Swords about. Two of Cups comes in and reiterates a love situation. The Eight of Cups, something that, some, that you have walked away from before because of a lack of teamwork and collaboration and possibly a third-party situation, but now you're being asked to engage. Five of One says you have a lot of conflict about manifesting with this person because there was the seven of swords in the past that's why the five of pentacles was the second card out right worry right it makes you feel insecure and worried because there has been betrayal deceit shady behavior in the past with this person who's bringing you the message of the princess of cups Four of Pentacles says you go on a lockdown mode, lockdown mode, feeling self-protective. To the Ten of Wands, this creates a burden and a struggle for you. Alchemist talks about manifesting. You go into the hermit mode and, and, and manifest the... manifest what you need to to deal with this king of wands this king of wands is the person who sent the message with the princess of cups right so you go into hermit mode you do some soul searching and some introspection about whether or not you want to continue to manifest this into your life what this king of wands right here this king of wands with the message about closing out the old cycle and starting a new cycle a message about planning for the future and discovering each other again a message about letting go of the heartbreak, the pain, the sorrow, the grief, and the rejection from the past, and having a sense of optimism and forgiveness. Messages about ending a cycle and starting a new cycle, transforming this relationship. Messages about justice, wronging a right, cause and effect, fairness. Temperance comes in and says that this Prince of Cups, who is this King of Wands, who is the, delivering this message of the Princess of Cups, is the Prince of Cups. Princes, Knights are action cards. Action with the Prince in the Cups energy, which is feelings and emotions. This is someone taking action on their emotions. To the Queen of Wands, this is this Queen of Wands, is the Prince of Cups, is the King of Wands, is the deliverer of the message. Same energy. You see them as the Queen of Wands, right? Exuberant, sexy, warm, vibrant, determined, possibly could have something to do with metaphysical, occult, very intuitive, extremely focused, fiery passion, the kind of person that is by your side and is going to stand up for you and help you achieve. Strength card comes in and says, Woo, Taurus, you got to pull on some strength because you are covered in fear and anxiety. Hold on a second. Snickers, stop. Covered in fear and anxiety, right? Not seeing things clearly, squinting, right? Eight of Wands to the Nine of Swords because of this communication that's come into you about everything I just said, all these cards. Puts you in the energy of the Nine of Swords, right? Now this is an escalation from the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords was you going, how the fuck did I just get here and what just happened to me? To the Nine of Swords. Nines are about, fru are about fruition, attainment, and conclusion, completion. So as painful as it is to be in an energy of intense anxiety, despair, torment, 
um, staying up at night, racking your brain about things. While you're doing that, you are bringing something to a conclusion because human nature says I cannot stay in this discomfort for very long. I must find my way out. And that's what the Nine of Swords energy is about. The next thing that would come would be the Ten of Swords. That is the actual execution of what it is you've determined in the Nine of Swords. So, up in your head, really trying to make some progress about this whole thing. What are you thinking about? Victory, progress, and success. You're thinking about taking some action. The Prince of Swords, remember action. Swords are your mental, so this is action from your mental. This is executing a decision or giving some communication, right? So you're thinking about that. You're thinking about, about taking action on this whole thing. High Priestess, sitting down with your intuition and your subconscious mind, thinking about your security, um, the control, the power you have in your life, um, being very careful, very vigilant, using a lot of common sense to come to a decision in this situation. The Two of Swords says perhaps you're going to deal with some repressed emotions. And the Four of Wands talks about um, creating stability to the King of Cups in your feelings, right? And that's what, you're, that's what you're doing in that Nine of Swords. You're creating stability in your feelings and making a plan as to how you're going to take action one way or another. Prince of Wands says that you're going to take inspired action, passionate action to the Emperor. So now this Princess of Cups message um, is the King of Wands, is the Prince of Cups, is the Emperor. Seven of Pentacles, after much reflection and assessment. King of Swords, you've made a decision to manifest a new opportunity in this situation. The Five of Cups comes in and talks to us about loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. It also talks about moving on from loss, regret, disappointment, and despair, accepting and forgiving. Because there's a whole new beginning for love right here. King of Pentacles, you, Taurus, sitting in your power, secure, in control, feeling powerful, ready to create abundance, tons of ambition to go forward into a long-term goal. Sun card comes in, says happiness, success, and vitality. Six of Cups in reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. Coming in like the Empress in total and complete control of your mental, of your passion, of your feels, and of your own security. And willing to commit to this relationship. Five of Swords to the Hangman. Okay, so this Hangman is telling me that you have worked through your feelings of the Five of Swords. You've worked through the con the conflict, the tension, the loss, the defeat, the betrayal, the mind games of the past. You've worked through it. You've paused. You've surrendered. You've come out on the other side with a new perspective about this devil. This devil who is the King of Wands, who is the Prince of Cups, who is the Emperor. This devil is an attachment. An attachment that you have that you cannot seem to get over. You want the Ten of Cups with this devil. You want happiness, harmony, values, alignment in your relationship. Four of Cups says you've thought about it and thought about it again. Six of Pentacles comes in and says that you want to give and receive and share with this devil, King of Wands, Emperor, person. Knight of Cups. The Ace of Wands says you're going to take inspired action. The Chariot in action to have a new beginning and a new journey. Despite the challenges, you now see things differently with a revelation and an awakening about the truth that was spoke, spoken back here with justice. The world card, you're ready to close out this cycle and start a brand new cycle. The Ten of Swords, yep, you're going to put an ending to the old cycle and you are going to resurrect something from the dead. You are going to, um, you have surveyed the landscape of your life and you have formulated a decision-making process, right? Seven of Cups talks to us about um, 
fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, feeling confused, followed by the star card. You are no longer confused about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship. As a matter of fact, you're far from confused. You are the queen of cups. Emotional security, calm, cool, collected, intuitive, honesty, and fairness is her motto. To the three of cups. This three of cups is about reunion. And the nine of wands. Your persistence has paid off. This is something that you have fought for in one way or another, Taurus, and your persistence has paid off. There you go, Taurus. That was pretty cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, there you go. That was just a quick bonus for you if you want a reading with me, Deep Thoughts with Dana.com.